Welcome. In this module, you're going to be meeting your saxophone. Throughout the module, we're going to look at the parts of your saxophone, how to set up your saxophone, your posture, your left hand position, your right hand position, basics to your embouchure, and how to pack up your saxophone. If you're ready, let's jump right in. This is the body of our saxophone. All the keys that we're going to be pressing is right here. And if you look closely, you see holes here. And as we press these notes, we close these holes. And that's what makes the difference in the pitch. So from closing and opening different holes, we create different notes. This piece over here is the neck of the saxophone. It has one moving part and it is the octave. It is placed right on top of the body and it connects the body and the mouthpiece. Mouthpieces come with a protective case. And when you take out the protective case, you see that there is a ligature tied to this. So when you take the ligature out as well, this is what a mouthpiece looks like. Mouthpieces are very important. And this is what a ligature looks like, at least one type of a ligature. There are many different kinds of ligatures, but as long as it keeps the reed in place, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. When you put it like this, we have our mouthpiece set up. And this is our reed, a small wooden piece. And it's a very important part of the saxophone because the vibration of this small wooden piece creates the sound. When you put it here under the mouthpiece and blow into it, this reed vibrates and this vibrational energy is then converted into sound energy, which then follows through the neck and then into the body of the saxophone. And lastly, we have our neck strap here. The neck strap goes around your neck and this clips into your saxophone so that when you're playing, it holds the tension, it holds the weight so that you can play your saxophone comfortably. For 15 years, I've been putting on my saxophone the same way. The first thing that I put on is my neck strap and then I take my saxophone and clip it right here. You see, you will have a place to clip on your saxophone right here. Do that so that it secures. It's, you know that you're not gonna drop it. One time I dropped it and it was not good. After that, I take my reed and put it in my mouth because we want our reed to be wet so that it sticks to the mouthpiece well. You put it in your mouth, you don't suck on it. You just wanna make sure that it is wet throughout the whole reed. And then I take my neck and my mouthpiece and put them together. And I take my ligature and put it into my mouthpiece. And you will see that there's a wide end to it and a narrower end to it. So the wide end is gonna enter to the mouthpiece. So I have my mouthpiece, my ligature and my neck together already. And now it's time to put my reed onto my mouthpiece. I give some room so that my reed can pass through. And then I put my reed from the top because I want to make sure that I don't break any part. I don't want to damage the tip of my reed because it's a very delicate, fine little piece of wood and it creates all the sound, so I don't want to damage it. So I put my reed onto my mouthpiece. I check, I want to make sure that this tip is equal, not going above, not going down like this. I want it to be in the same level on the top. So now I'm going to make sure that it is tight enough so that my reed doesn't move around. See, now I have the neck, mouthpiece, my ligature, and my reed set up perfectly well. And I check it. Perfect. And after that, I already had my saxophone tied to my neck, so I know that it is safe. And here, two little screws that you can turn. The screw on the right side is gonna make the radius larger or smaller. And you put the neck into the body just like this, tighten this up, and you have your saxophone set up right here. The body of your saxophone is connected to your neck strap. Your neck strap is on you. The neck is placed on top of the body. The mouthpiece is on your neck. Your ligature is keeping your reed tight on your mouthpiece. So the notes in the saxophone is made by closing and opening different holes within the saxophone. And we do it by our fingers. So we have our right hand and we have our left hand. Let's look at how the left hand is placed on your saxophone. Left hand is gonna be on the top. You take your left thumb and put it on here. This is where you're gonna be resting your left thumb. It's gonna give you a pressure point where you can adjust how you're gonna hold the saxophone. Make sure to rest and get your balance in this little circle place for your thumb. And after placing your left thumb on this circle, it naturally goes onto the other side 
you will see designated areas where your fingers are gonna last. Just put it over and here you have your notes. Under your palm, you have your palm keys and these are your notes right here. And for your right hand, what you're gonna do is that you see that you're gonna have this place for your thumb to rest in and adjust the balance. Put your thumb under here and naturally your hand goes to the front. And you will see that there is also designated areas where you're gonna put your fingers. So this is how you're gonna be holding your saxophone. Your left thumb going here to the front and your right thumb is going under here and to the front. And this is how you're gonna be holding your saxophone. Your posture is very important when you're playing the saxophone because it's all about your lungs and how you can put air into the saxophone. So if you're sitting like this, then you're closing your diaphragm, your lungs, so that air cannot move out well. You wanna make sure that it's open and that you can push out the air as strong as possible. You don't wanna sit like this, you don't wanna sit like this, you wanna sit up straight and put your saxophone in front of you. You can also put it to the side, whatever you feel more comfortable with, but make sure that you're sitting up straight and allowing the air to move in and out freely. You wanna make sure that your neck strap is also tight enough so that the mouthpiece comes directly into your mouth. If it's too low, you will have to put your face down and do like this, which is not what we're looking for. We want it to be in a perfect place so when we take the saxophone into our mouth, we don't have to move our head at all. Look at the difference between the correct way of putting the neck strap and the wrong way. This would be the correct way. And this would be the wrong way. See how my face is going down? It's hard for me to play. It's hard for me to put it in my mouth. It's hard for me to blow. But when I put it up, and it directly comes into my mouth, it's really easy. And in order to make good sound, we wanna make sure that we're using the mouthpiece well, so our embouchure comes into play. What you're gonna do first is that you will put the mouthpiece into your mouth. You can see that I have my teeth mark right here, and its width is as much as my pinky. On the top, you will put your teeth and in the bottom, where the reed is, you're gonna put your lips. So it's something like this. You see my teeth on the top and my lip covering the bottom right here. How I pick up my saxophone is the exact opposite order. So the first thing that I'm gonna be taking out is my reed. I make sure that I don't break the tip of my reed because I know that it is very delicate. So right after I take it out of my mouthpiece, I put it inside its protective case. And after taking out my reed, I take out my mouthpiece. I'm not holding it here because there's a very delicate little piece of mechanics here. So I make sure to hold it in a more stable area and I take out my mouthpiece just like this, twisting it and taking it out. After taking it out, I put my ligature into my mouthpiece and I set it aside. After taking out my mouthpiece, I screw this back out to make it wider and take out my neck gently. And then I put it into my saxophone case. After I take out the neck out of the body of the saxophone, I take my neck strap out, I take it out of me, I put it on the side and I hold my saxophone from here. Not from here, not from here, because this is the most stable part of my saxophone. Every time after I use my saxophone, I wanna make sure that I clean it. So you probably have something like this. This is the cleaning cloth. If you don't have it, get one. They usually have this weight in the tip of them. So I put it into the bell of my saxophone and I send it in and I wait till this comes down. And then when it comes down, I pull it up and here I have. I do it a couple times. And after that, I take my saxophone. I put this cap on because when I put it in my case, I wanna protect this little piece of metal here because this is my octave key and this protects that. And I gently put it in my saxophone case. And then I take my neck 
and I do the same thing to my neck. And after I swap my neck as well, I place it into my saxophone case. And then I have my mouthpiece. I clean my mouthpiece as well. After swapping it, I put my cap on and I place it into my saxophone case. Here we have my saxophone cleaned up and put into my saxophone case. Now I take it, I zip it up, and I'm ready to go to my next gig. So throughout this module, we looked at different parts of our saxophone, how to put our saxophone together, our left hand position, right hand position, our posture, the basics to our embouchure, and how to pack up our saxophone. This is ourselves from Future who decided to put this video on YouTube. You can watch the next video from here. You can subscribe from over here. And if you liked it, please click that like button and I will see you in the next video.